beginning of a 2-10 and 10 season in 2013 is still fresh at the Air Force Academy. Nobody, nobody had a good time. It was, it was absolutely miserable. But through adversity comes valuable lessons. Last year there was a lot of talk and not a lot of action, so kind of just cut that out and we're just, you know, we're holding each other a lot more accountable. Uh, for instance, this summer, like, the leadership, we had workouts that weren't technically mandatory, you know, because of NCAA rules, and we didn't have a single guy miss the whole first three weeks. So it was first time in my whole five years now that that's ever happened. A veteran group will lead the Falcons onto the field this fall as one of the most experienced groups in the conference, including a group of three quarterbacks, all of whom have starting experience. Sophomore Nate Romine played in nine games in his freshman campaign, immediately earning respect from his teammates. Proved he, he has what it takes. Uh, came in, I mean, I couldn't imagine the amount of pressure he was under coming in and did really well and just got better as the season went on. Uh, you just tell you he matured and it just uh, showed me that he really has what it takes to be a, a really great quarterback. The tailback position is crowded with experience as well. John Lee is back after averaging six and a half yards per carry last season. He'll be pushed by junior Devin Rushing, who's a rising star in a Falcon uniform. He's just matured a lot. Uh, the, one of the funniest guys we have on the whole team. Uh, just a great guy to be around, but uh, when it comes time to throw on his helmet, he's just, he's all business. On defense, the Falcons plan to play more aggressive in 2014, starting a deep group of defensive linemen. They have a little more girth uh, and probably more than anything else. Uh, they know how to play with their hands and their feet, which is uh, vital in any position. I think uh, probably no more so than it, in the defensive front. And, uh, and if those guys are stout in September and are, in, and are stout later in the year in November, um, then, you know, that, that, that's when it gets fun to play football. The linebacking core will be bolstered by converted safety Dexter Walker, a hard hitter who was third on the team in tackles for loss in 2013. I mean, he's just a great player. Um, he's just he's a football player at the end of the day. Um, you know, obviously it's a transition when you're 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 going to a completely different position. But uh, you know, he's he's just been working hard at it, trying to learn the position, trying to to really figure it out. And um, you know, I I know everyone has great confidence in him that uh, he'll, he'll do his thing and make make a lot of plays at the outside linebacker spot. Air Force kicks off the season on August 30th with a visit from Nickel State. The road to winning back the Commander-in-Chief's trophy begins on October 4th when Navy pays a visit to Falcon Stadium. The Falcons will then make the trip out east to West Point to battle Army on November 1st. Obviously, Army and Navy are huge games, mm -hmm. huge rivalries, and uh, that trophy means a lot to, to all three of the, those teams. So um, definitely one of, one of the biggest goals that we have this year is, is to get the uh, Commander-in-Chief trophy back, back at Air Force. For the Mountain West Network, I'm Jesse Kurtz. Oh,